Hello and welcome to this channel. Uh, this uh, this video is a short video giving the details of this one. Uh, control space, uh, you know, remote client. How you can use, uh, you know, your uh, control space uh, EX1280 controller uh, for this one. So this example is basically to use as a as a backend for the audio system. And then uh, you have, you need to add amplifiers and uh, the application control space uh, remote client to control uh, from the various iPads or your uh, laptop. So this is example uh, I will try to create. Uh, so let's go from here. You know this is my schematic and this is a working schematic. In my this is the spy music for 24 areas and uh, where you, uh, they have already the uh, individual amplifiers for a multi-channel amplifier. So I use the uh, Bose EX1280 as the main controller and uh, each uh, spy area have their own buttons for that area to increase, decrease, increase, decrease the volume or mute or change the channel uh, of the audio from the control space remote client. You know, this is from the iPad. Also, you can, so in my design, uh, I have a EX1280, you know, the Bose control space and then it has got eight uh, mono output. I given to the eight, eight, uh, eight amplifier, multi-zone amplifier. And then what I am using through this uh, patch, I have one, uh, one uh, D-Link, uh, you know, hub. Actually, I have a switch also there. Uh, I take the Cisco switch, but somehow, you know, it was difficult to interface with there, the system. So I use as a hub. And then the output is connected to this one. I am using eight, uh, you know, the Dante receiver, DT02X Dante receiver. This is Allen and eight, you know, the eight I am using. So it's giving two audio output. So this audio output, I, I connect to the amplifier, individual channel amplifier. So you get the simple application, simple uh, schematic. This is working schematic. And here is all connected to the amplifier. Now, do do the, all this thing you need a uh, following just want to go one by one i will close this my schematic you know you need a you need a what's called you need a designer you need to first design the same schematic you have to design in a designer and upload to your uh, upload to your uh, what's called controller you know control space you have to upload in my case you can see I have used, uh, there are four input, one port music, this is coming from their server, audio server. And then I connect, uh, you know, through this one, uh, audio routing, I use the audio routing node here. And then I put a selector here. And this is the zone, gain, and this is the output. So this selector, you can, uh, you can, uh, you know, information you can copy, you can use into the application, you know, client, uh, control space remote client, you can uh, program this using the next uh, slide. So I use uh, selector 1, selector 2, selector 3, 7, 4, 8, 9. All I have gone up to 24 selectors. So this is what basically for 24 zones audio I am using. Correct. So you can see here. So uh, you can see from here 8 are inbuilt. Uh, 8 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 8 are inbuilt audio output from the device itself. And then I have a Dante output. Dante output. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know like this one edit. So Dante 2, Dante 1 output, Dante output 2, and you know, so on. Then you have used the Dante 3 also, just to check the input level. So I can check it here. So, um, so this one you have to upload to your uh, device. And then uh, to patch this one, uh, you, need a, you need a Dante controller also. You need a Dante controller also. Uh, so uh, here is offline, so you don't see. But if you, you are online, you see the your, your, your EX one two eight zero C and all the Dante devices you see as a receiver, and then and you have to route it to their audio. So this will this we need to do with the Dante controller. This software you have to download to patch before they start. Now when this is done and uh, you have done this uh, designer software, you have uploaded that one. Then your comes your then builder. You need a, another application which you download from the software, uh, Bose uh, Pro website. This is uh, this is the uh, what is called uh, 
control sphere remote builder where you build up all these things uh, your you know this one this is the information this is my program which i had done with the designer and you can see these the these the name will come so this one you have to bring it here and then you have to ar accordingly arrange it you know all are here and then you have um, everything is here you can see from here ax system graphics whatever you know blocks is the block is selector you see selector this is something like selector you know this is basically this selector you know all these selectors are here so i already made it so just easy for you this uh, this one fine and this one this program uh, when you connect this builder you have to push to your um, ipad or you have to push to your what's called uh, uh, push to your uh, control space client maybe it is a window based also you can download from the website and that way you can do i will give example of this one how this is done is easy time you know i will make it here so when you have this is on window base uh, on the same laptop i have i go here and uh, you know okay sorry i go here i go here on the my remote client the program you know you in the beginning you will not have anything you say receive you will get your ip okay when from the builder what do you do everything you do you do the send so they should be on the same uh, lan so match with this, in this ip 192.1.7 192.1.0 and 127 127 so what i'll do from this uh, this what's called uh, from this remote uh, builder i am pushing to my same laptop you know uh, on the client remote client so go and this will be, this will go off when i go okay you see is gone so it's updated but so this what um, you know make your job easy in, in my case i have done one master ipad where i can control everything from uh, one ipad and uh, but uh, what you do other area you can take the particular uh, particular you know controls and push to the other uh, so you can use uh, basically 24 ipads you know and the each other ipads will have only for the particular rooms like a like a spa one two three four five spa meeting room one sorry spa uh, female or male you have only volume control and a mute and the uh, and the uh, you know the music uh, music selection so that that way it can work so as, as other thing that uh, you need to have a website you can download from the website uh, this is the your um, control space remote client which you'll get from the boss professional and uh, that way you see there's a two video also here this is very helpful on this website and it's very helpful actually i also learned from this video and I recommend you to go through this one before you start using this application you know control sports remote client remote uh, and control sports remote builder uh, to control with your ipad so thank you very much and have a good luck a good luck for this one i'm sure this uh, this will help you a little bit and uh, with this video uh, it will help you a lot thank you dear thank you and bye bye